year 2005, Ugandans voted to have multi-party democracy reintroduced. Change was imminent, with political parties that had been inactive for over two years preparing for the race ahead. The popular political parties at the time included the Forum for Democratic Change, Democratic Party, the Justice Forum, Uganda People's Congress, National Resistance Movement, amongst other players. Now it quickly became evident that these political parties would need assistance in improving their structures and functionality. The Netherlands Institute for Multiparty Democracy is a unique international NGO that was founded in the year 2000 by seven Dutch political parties. Remember that prior to 2005, Uganda had been in a no-party movement system for close to 20 years. Some political leaders thought that they would need some support to transition from a no-party political system to a multi-party political system, and they invited us to come and partner with Ugandan political parties in this regard. And we were happy to support them to found the Inter-Party Organization for Dialogue in the year 2010. In February, they signed a memorandum of understanding to cooperate. This organization was founded based on democratic principles of equality, transparency, and freedom of expression. We as UPC and our leadership in 2018, convened the first summit of leaders where the President of the Republic of Uganda, President Museveni, with his counterparts, met in Munyonyo and agreed on several key issues, which has helped us improve on our democracy. It is important for conversations to happen between political parties, even though they are competing, because the issue of national development should be a matter that concerns everybody. We come from different backgrounds. We have different ideologies, but our future as Ugandans is shared. And with dialogue, the sky is the limit. Dialogue is the first step of any engagement, and dialogue is the last step, even after war. Political contestation is not an enmity. And therefore, we believe that in any conflict, the best path is dialogue. Members of the platform enjoy equal rights and decisions are only reached through general consensus. It was hoped that the democratic principles followed within the Inter-Party Organization for Dialogue would trickle down into the representative political parties and set an example for these parties to follow. In 2020, the Justice Forum took over leadership from uh, the Forum for Democratic Change. This showed that there is a transition of leadership from one political party to the other. The Netherlands Institute for Multi-Party Democracy, one of its objectives is to ensure that we have at least a vibrant multi-party democracy in our country. In order to support and strengthen these political parties, the Netherlands Institute for Multi-Party Democracy, in partnership with the Democratic Governance Facility, formed the Political Parties Capacity Support Project to help facilitate these processes. This program has uh uh, three main areas. One is uh, supporting political parties to become politically functional and viable institutions that aggregate the interests of uh, their followers. The other result area was um, enhancing the participation of young people, the youth, because we realize that they have been left out of the political decision-making processes uh, despite the fact that they are the majority. And the third result area has been around supporting women to take part in uh, political decisions that affect them, not only in their parties, but also at the national level. In all activities which are implemented, women are at the forefront. This has helped us to deepen our democracy and to also improve on our performance and capacity building for our women's league. We have been able to build the capacity of women candidates who have participated very effectively promoting political inclusion for women uh, in the party and outside the party. With the support of partners like the Democratic Governance Facility and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands, in the Power of Dialogue program, we hope 
to build bridges between political parties with the representation in parliament, but also build bridges between political parties and the citizens of Uganda. The Inter-Party Organization for Dialogue, IPOD, has operated in Uganda for 10 years with remarkable results. But despite all of this, its job is far from done. 